Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a quick update for you guys um, on the PAX era. If you've seen my last couple videos, I talk about my favorite strains, um, all that stuff. I did a video where I talk about the PAX era by itself. Um, and then I talk about the PAX era in comparison to the Palm Jupiter C-Cell battery. Both of those videos will be linked down below. I'm just going to be going over some new strains that I've tried in the PAX and what I think of them. So basically, I wanted to do this video today because as you guys know, I've been working on a video where I talk about my experience going to a medical marijuana grow. And I wanted to put that out next, but I really want to spend my time editing this video. Um, and making it kind of like the best video possible. But in the meantime, I have other content that I want to create. So I'm going to be doing that. And today I'm going to be going over some new Pax Era strains. So today I wanted to talk about kind of some of the new strains. Not new per se, but new to me. Um, if you follow me on social media, I often post about what new pack strains I have. Um, I often post them in my story pretty much every single time. So this might be a little bit repetitive to you, but if you don't, then... The first strain we are going to be talking about today is Mimosa. As you can see, I don't really have that much Mimosa left. I've been working on this cartridge for about a week right now. I got this at TrueMed, the dispensary that distributes for drip oils and extra. I also won the most recent Earl Cup for the number one concentrate cartridge. Um, Mimosa is a cross between the strains Clementine and Purple Punch, and the effects are happy, uplifted, relaxed, focused, and energetic. The Mimosa cartridge is perfect to medicate if you're experiencing stress, depression, pain, fatigue, or a lack of appetite. Something that I do when I'm researching a strain for a video is I go on Leafly. That's usually the first place that I go. Um, they usually have a pretty good breakdown, and they also have a lot of reviews. Um, I usually don't read the reviews on my channel, but this one stood out to me like more than anything else, um, and I figured it deserved some spotlight. That guy in the desert describes mimosa as a pleasant daytime smoke. I enjoy this if I have to say, clean the garage, mow the lawn, do a load of laundry, or wax all three cars. Two coats. So, as you can see, mimosa is an uplifting, energetic, kind of pick-me-up kind of strain. It has worked its way to becoming one of my favorite PAX cartridges. And that says a lot because I was kind of a pink Starburst hoe, like that was the only strain I wanted to smoke all the time, but Mimosa's made it up there. And this second strain I'm gonna talk about today is a strain that I actually think has replaced pink Starburst and is now my number one PAX pod, but unfortunately it's seasonal, so um, this is probably my last one. I got this at the Holistic Center because they still have some. So this is Candy Cane. Um, Candy Cane is probably my favorite PAX pod literally so far. It's just the taste is like nothing else in the whole world. Like have you ever had Trident Sweet Mint Gum? First of all, these pens. Let me tell you a story. Every single day, every single day, my dad looks at me and he goes, how are you so high already? And this is the response that I give him. I just hold up the pen. This is my best friend in the whole wide world, okay? I don't go anywhere without my pen. Candy cane is a cross between three strains, AK-47, Mango, and White Widow. Candy cane will leave you feeling happy, relaxed, euphoric, hungry, and sleepy. Um, and it's good for stress, pain, insomnia, headaches, and inflammation. So candy cane is a hybrid and mimosa is a sativa, according to Drip. Um, and yeah, candy cane is probably my favorite cartridge so far. I got this one at the Holistic Center, but it was a seasonal winter strain, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to find them. TrueMed doesn't have them anymore, and I'm assuming they're not distributing them anymore. But if you can find one, I highly suggest giving Candy Cane a try because it is my absolute favorite. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video where I just did an update on some new PAX era strains that I've tried. I would definitely recommend the Mimosa strain if you're a fan of sativa dominance hybrids or sativas because this is a strong sativa as you can see. I haven't shut up. It's been seven minutes. I wanted to do a quick video and I've been filming for like 10 minutes so far, but um, yeah. Remos is amazing. If you have ADHD, 10 out of 10 would recommend um, because this is what I've been using to treat my ADHD lately. It's great. Also, candy cane. It's really good for everything. It's a hybrid. Um, I would definitely say it's a true hybrid where I feel that sativa feel at first and then when I have enough of it, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, but it's so far my favorite. Definitely replace Pink Starburst just because the flavor is so amazing, but the effects are definitely similar. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below with your favorite PAX era strain. Um, clearly you guys can see I'm so medicated and it's literally all from these cartridges. Okay, I look stupid. I'm gonna put my hood away. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.